Hello, awesome people. I hope you're having a great day today. Today we're taking a look at the the next, sh the first short story actually, uh, and the third one that we've, we've read and reviewed from in this Visions from Fantasy, uh, 1987 collection of fantasy stuff by 12 different authors. Uh, one of which was Isaac Asimov that wrote this for a short story, the, 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 the Tale of the Three uh, Princes. Uh, we also just read uh, Madeline Langle's uh, thing here, here too. Uh, Poor Little Saturday. Now a 20-page short story by Anne McCaffrey called The Smallest Dragon Boy is next. This was published a couple decades before this collection uh, for folks. Uh, as a reminder, Anne McCaffrey was uh, the, the author that I went to after I went Tolkien. If, uh, Tolkien got me my love in, in fantasy uh, from The Hobbit to The Lord of the Rings uh, for one summer between fifth and sixth grade year uh, and so forth and that began so then I moved uh, to Anne McCaffrey I found her dragon song uh, like in the first couple of days at her school library checked it out read it loved it uh, and then I did dragon singer and dragon drums which my dad owned when I told him that I read it and my dad also loved science fiction but as he do uh, and so uh, so I said so that's what I read and so forth uh, and so I, and then while I was doing a deep dive into fantasy, I picked this up as a, as a boy. And you'll see the first short story here on the back is for Amy Caffrey. I saw, her, I saw her name and I was like, ooh, I want to read that. And so I picked it up and liked it a lot. So this is 20 pages long. You can tell from the title this is happening. So it doesn't have any surprises um, and so forth. No spoilers. Uh, but what I like to do is to give the, uh, a review of the first couple of pages to get you sort of started. So what's happening is, is that we have this kid. Um, he is the son of a dragon rider in Pern. Uh, at, a, at a weir uh, where they raise and have hatchings and there's about to be a hatching uh, of 40 different dragons uh, and so forth and there are 72 uh, dragon riders uh, that are there as potential uh, people uh, for them to sort of meld with and then have lifelong connections with uh, and so he is uh, our primary antagonist, as you can tell from the story, the smallest dragon but is a tiny little guy. He's just barely, he's like a couple of days older uh, than what would be required to uh, by law. So he's very, very small. This is his first hatching and so forth. And while his father is a, uh, is, is a dragon rider uh, in the area, uh, he is, and he's a great guy. Uh, he's also super tall, and of course, people are like, "What?" He, he goes, he keeps, he keeps saying things those signs. So forth. his son's been bullied and so forth, uh, and so his son's now uh, running around and so forth. That's the first couple, two or three pages. That's good. That's good about who and who it is, all, is his and so forth. Because of who the character is and how how young he is, and how small he is and so forth, this definitely feels more like a young adult one, like Dragon Song, Dragon Singer, and Dragon Jumps that I mentioned before. They're also meant for young adults. Uh, and I wouldn't be surprised to see that as a as a sort of thing, right? And such. So I definitely like that, uh, and I like where. But again, there's no surprises here. You find out what's happening from the title, so there's not like, oh my gosh, what's going to happen, right? Uh, so, uh, and so it's interesting, and, some, and fun stuff happens in it. Uh, it's it's Emma Caffrey. She's she has a beloved Pern is beloved for her for me to go visit it for 20 pages and 30 minutes was great. Uh, and so forth. Uh, and I haven't read this short story since I read this when I was in like grade school in sixth grade. So, you know, I haven't read this in a long time uh, for folks. So I definitely enjoyed going back and seeing what I thought about it again as, as an adult. And so I'm giving this probably like a seven out of ten. It's definitely strong, fun and so forth. But you can tell from the stories, titles, everything that's happening uh, in this and the surprise ending and so forth. So it's not like a big gas or anything like that's going to happen, right? Uh, and such but there you are but i did like it i did like returning to Pern and so forth uh, for a little bit uh, so there you are that's the smallest dragon boy by ann mccaffrey the 20 page short story took me about 30 minutes for me to knock out last night uh for the second time first time as an adult we regularly do that here in the channel i like to go back and read things that i read when i was a kid or in junior high or high school or college and see what i think about now that i'm in mid 40s decades later right also as a reminder this channel's name is the worst thing about new books and that's a quote by a french philosopher jacques Schubert who said that the worst thing about them was uh, that they kept us from reading the old ones, right? Uh, and so a short story that was published decades ago before this in 87, right, is definitely an older work that we might have forgotten about or never known about, right? Uh, and so for that, that's the passion of this channel to unlock those sorts of things for folks. Uh, so that's where you go from the title. Uh, so there you are. What did you think about it? Did you like uh, The Smallest Dragon Boy? If you've read it, if so, did you agree or disagree? By 7 out of 10. Let's talk about it in the comments below, whatever you'd like to talk about. If you want to talk about spoilers, we can also do that with back with tags too. Happy to do that for you too. Uh, so uh, I, I, if you like this, why not hit that subscribe button? And if you're feeling frisky, hit the bell icon too to be notified of when I support, when I release these three times a week. Uh, and then finally, 
I just want to thank you so much for taking some time out of your day and investing it and watching my videos because we all have so many things that are happening in our lives and we're pulled in so many different directions. So the fact that you spent this time with me, that's incredibly humbling and I appreciate it. So thanks again and have an amazing day.